Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So now I want to tell you how to make a free, it's a free program in Canva, how to make graphics, Pinterest graphics specifically, for your free printable. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to go to Custom Dimensions, we're going to say we want it to be 600 by 900. And we're going to create a new design. And now I have already uploaded the images that we might use. I'm gonna work with this one from one of the gals from my newsletter list. And we're gonna go ahead and recreate that image I made in the blog post. So if you go to the link, you'll see the image that I, um, you'll be able to see the whole description of this. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna say text, we're gonna say add a subheading and her site is cutelittleworkshop.com. And we're gonna have this to put down here. That's her website. We're gonna to go to elements and we're gonna make a blue bar. We're gonna make it the same color as her. This is cute, this matches that. Now we need some text, so we're going to say add a heading, and this is going to be sticker, because we were saying this one is a sticker. Okay, that's probably too big. We want to make this a little smaller. And now we want to make a subheading that says free printable. All right. Now, if you remember, if we go back home, I already made one that says free printable sticker. This had kind of a darker blue. This has kind of a lighter blue. You can see that she kind of moved around. We could move her left or right. Now, oh, that one has a white sticker. This one has a black sticker. Okay, so now, what you need to know is that Pinterest likes to have different pins. They don't want you, it used to be you could make one pin and you could just be done with it and just keep pinning that pin. But we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to make five pins for them. So we're going to say five more times, copy page. So we're going to say that's the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Okay, so we want to make five different interesting Pinterest pins that we can give away. Now, the thing is that when I asked Carolina what her target market was, like many of us, she has many target markets. So she says, I have no idea, but I suppose designers. Now this is a freebie, so we're not gonna give away the commercial license for this freebie. So we're gonna get rid of designers. But they are crafters, moms, four cards, scrapbooking, birthday parties, small business, stickers, even teachers. Okay, so teachers buy her scrapbook, so we want to attract teachers. So this is page number one. We're going to go to page number two. And we're going to say free graphic. And then we're going to say four teachers right? Now my daughter is a preschool teacher and she would love to have this graphic for her classroom. So I know that this is actually a thing they do. She would probably print it out and put it on her wall. So we're going to just say this is for teachers. Let's make it white on this one. Let's make the bar red. If you hit command while you click this, you can get to the one underneath it, which is an amazing little trick. Free graphic for teachers. Let's go ahead and do this. And then let's add another little element here. Let's add a circle. And let's say, copy, paste. And we're gonna say great for class. Now those are way too far away from each other. So there's a little thing under here that's the up and downy, and we can make this one level. And now, of course, it's way too big for our circle. So we wanna we wanna put this in our circle. 
we want to say great for class i'm big on exclamation points and there we go that's number two now this is appealing to an entirely different demographic right than the first one did let's move her her website down here on this one okay and that was super easy peasy now the next one we're going to do is, um, so she said birthday parties, right? So we're going to say pre free graphic, free graphic for, we need to make this wider because this isn't fitting right. And so now we have to make this smaller. Free graphic for favor bags. So this is a thing I never understood. You invite children to your house for a birthday party, and then you're supposed to give them presents from your birthday party. Um, I don't get that. But let's, let's just roll with this. Let's not get all uh, political here, right? <laughs> back me up okay so i want to say bring the front i have her going a little bit over the bar let's make this white let's make the bar let's say it's black this time fancy okay now these are really easy to read right like so we have used fonts this whole time that are exactly the same that are super easy to read but what if we wanted to do a little bit of a different font um that's a little bit more funky. Let's see what it looks like when we get here. Uh, it's okay. I almost would like it. So let's make Sunborn up here. Sun. Oh, it shows up right. Oh, there we go. Okay, I like that a lot better. I'd like this favor bags to be cuter. Um, is that cute? That's not cute. All right, let's find something cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I have special fonts because I'm fancy that way. Um, let's make this almost as big as we can get it, right? And then we're going to do a little special thing again. We're going to say, now we know the font upstairs that we just did is the right size-ish. And we're going to say, for birthday... Parties, exclamation point, because I'm me, right? And so we could call this done. Let's make this, let's, uh, what's this font? Sunborn? Let's make this sunborn. If we go to the top, it'll say we used it recently, right? And then maybe we have to make it a little bit smaller, but I think that'll be okay. And then we can just pull this out to the right size. So birthday parties is one of them. So that's one of them. Nice. Uh, scrapbooking. Okay. Free printable. Let's see. Let's take, let's go all crazy. Let's take this and let's turn this sideways. And we're going to say scrapbooking. If I could type, I would be unstoppable. Okay. All right, we're going to do that, and then we're going to pull this all the way down, and then we're going to put four scrapbooking, right? That's fun. That gives us a little zhuzh. I'm going to say bring the front. We're going to move her over here more, and then we're going to move this over here. We're going to say free Oh, let's do this. Let's make this smaller. Let's go over here. Let's put this in here. It's very designery because we have this, right? That's cute. Now we can move this up and then we can make her even bigger that's exciting okay so that's a good one 
And now I have a um, something I want to show you that you can do that's designery too. That's that, that's super fun. One last one, and we're 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 so let's move her out of the way and get this moved over here, right? Well, then we'll put her back. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's coming back. There she is. Okay. Um, so this is going to be super designery. So I want to use this one and copy it. And then I'm going to, I only want five, so I'll delete that one. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to make her the star of the show. So we're going to make a really big oval that we put behind her. Okay. So this oval is behind her. We're going to say send a back and we're going to make this a white oval. And then we're going to make this whole background a color. So let's do this, see what it looks like. Okay. This we could make, we could leave it like that. That actually looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? All right, so if we're going to make this one one, we'll just make a copy of this. Now we have another one. Now we have another uh, pin that we can pin. We can try and see if they like this one. Let's make this black. And let's say great, great for birthday parties. Ooh, that's cool. And on this one, let's make the back red and see what happens. I actually want it more that turquoise color. Can we find that turquoise? Oh, there we go. Free graphic for... Okay, I want her to be as big as we can make her. There we go. All right, this isn't working there. Let's scooch this over here. And we'll make that even smaller. We just kind of want it there in case anybody ever messes with her. You could use her logo too. All right, so that's excellent. So now we have six different graphics that we could use. And if she wants to do a giveaway, it would take her free, let's call this free mermaid graphics for giveaway. Okay, we're going to say download. They suggest a PNG, which is a really big file. I don't want to keep all of those files on my computer. So now we're going to say this. And uh, it comes down as a zip file. And you just open it up. And there they are. And now I changed the names to... Free giveaway mermaid sticker one. And I'm super lazy, so we know they aren't all mermaid stickers, but I just I just go through and I will copy this. Come here. Rename this. And then I'll just rename all all of those. So hopefully that helps show you how to make a lot of different Pinterest pins. Took less than 15 minutes. We have six different pins. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.